YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's Music Reaction Channel, where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now today we're going to go over to the first take and this particular artist is a mouthful for me to pronounce. So I'm going to attempt to pronounce knowing that I'm getting it wrong and confident about 95% confidence that I know that I got it wrong. And um, so I need you guys to help me out on this one, please, if you don't mind. So I got Kazyoshi um, and Seto, um, Ashita, um, Dasukina, uh, um, Rock and Roll Band, um, Gakono uh, Mashini, uh, and then I think it's Yati Kurunda. Let me know about that. And in the written part, it's got um, uh, Kazuyoki Yoshi Sato, the singer who continues to attract many music fans with his melodies and voice um, that, are forever, um, that are forever vivid. Returns to episode 230. Oof, wow. Um, this rock and roll band is, uh, it said, my favourite rock and roll band is coming to town tomorrow, written specially for um, Ashi Super Dry. Okay, and the first take, third collaboration, CF, special performances only on the first take. So this is a, a collaboration. Um, the, 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 the keyboards, Jun uh, Masamoto, um, the drums is um, Yoshihiro, and guitar is Yuhi, and bass and chorus, um, Yuro Hiro. And the vocals and guitar, okay, as you know who it is. So this is a collaboration between two bands, or collaboration between a band and an artist. Let me know about this. Um, look, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button to indicate to you where my next uploads will be. <laughs> Almost tripped up there, didn't you see that? <laughs> look, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? I love that guitar, man. It's kind of a deep brown, or is that black? Oh. I have no idea. Look, what's that? The piano doing that, making that noise. Did the drummer have one stick the right way around and the other one not the right way around? Okay, hold on to your seat. Move for right. Ooh. Very Jimi Hendrix, isn't it? The music. Yeah, not something I don't know. But.
Kazuyoshi um, um, Saito, is that the way how you pronounce it? I didn't even know it's got um, Ashita, um, uh, uh, yeah, Ashita um, Days Kinda uh, rock and roll um, band. So it's the lead band, I mean the lead vocal, and then you've got the rock and roll band. But it didn't really sound rock and roll, it was more of, of funk roll. Now something that what Jimi Hendrix would play, that's what I got the vibe from. Um, as it went on, and then it had a subtle kind of taste of the rock and roll um, enemy. I think it was a subtle taste of rock and rock and roll came from his natural, from his vocals. That's what kept it in the lane of being rock and roll. But other than that, I think it was very Jimi Hendrix kind of style. And yes, Jimi Hendrix done rock and roll, but you know it was more funk rock and roll. Me personally, that what Jimi Hendrix was uh, producing, and not saying it was amazing. It was absolutely brilliant. I fantastic. I loved every part of it. I was just trying to understand everybody's. 
participation in regards to what I've read because it says that the first collaboration so is um, Kazuyoshi not a part of the band or is he the part of the band and if he's not a part of the band who's the lead vocalist for that band do you know so that's what was kind of throwing me off um, pfft, other than that I loved it Melody was catchy, the vibe was lovely. You can picture it being at some kind of festival, outside open festival in a nice hot sunny day and everybody's just singing and cheering along and just having an absolutely amazing time with his vocals. I, that's what I think. Um, other than that, yeah, fantastic job. Brilliant vibe. Apologies for what's happening in the background. Um, hopefully it doesn't mess up with my... Uh, <laughs> With my um, with my edits until later on, um, but yeah, the green screen's just um, the, the setup for the green screen behind me is just dropped, I believe. Um, so apologies for that if you see any crinkles or anything. But um, you know what, the show must go on. So, uh, so this is a fail, <laughs> as in the green screen uh, green screen backdrop. But other than that, the music is definitely not a fail, and for that reason, I salute you. Amazing.